Hello guys. Today here we have this uh, new subwoofer by Monoprice. They just uh, released this subwoofer. Uh, like a, I think there's three sizes of them, the 12 inch, um, I think 10 inch, 12 inch and a 15 inch. It comes double box, like usual. Um, I always took it out of the box. It comes with this wire here. And it's huh? this bag here. The manual. That's the part number here, 41499, 15 inch, 600 watts. And then here, I think they have a typo here, package content. It says 12 inch. Um, but this is a 15 inch. I think it's just the same document they use it for all of them. And these are the specs here. So you have, um, it's a down firing port. Um, I'm not sure how big it is, but it doesn't look that big. We'll check it out here a little bit. 15 inch reinforced. So they already have the 12 inch, the $99, um, which is, this is very similar to it, except it's a little bit bigger and more powerful. Frequency response, you see here 30, 150 hertz. Um, but I think um, this house here uh, is different than the other one. So here it's it's a floating floating floor, not a concrete slab like the other one. Um, so I think in room extension will be better um, in here. So it'll probably hit less than 30 hertz. Anyways, a variable of the filter, blah, 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 600 watts. These are the dimensions. Uh, that's the width. And that's um, the height, I believe. And that's the length, uh, the depth, sorry. And this actually weighs around 66 pounds, according to their website. So let's go ahead and with this. Uh, kind of stylish front grill it's cloth as you can see and it's very thick actually this piece here it's pretty thick and it's got the motor price logo here at the bottom and this is the driver it's pretty heavy but anyways uh, the so rubber surround is kind of stiff and it seems it looks badass I don't know don't know the performance yet but it seems like it's it's gonna rattle this whole house it's very deep we have the volume control knob, the typical, you know, low pass filter, 40 hertz to 150. Power mode on auto. This is always on. This uh, will uh, auto detect the signal and turn on automatically and then turn off, you know, after uh, X amount of time, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however they set it up. And this is the face control, 0, 180. It's not a variable, so that's a little different than higher end subwoofers. And you got these RCA inputs, and these are the high level speaker inputs. So you can you know, use the high level, the you know, speaker in, speaker level in, sorry, um, inputs into it. And you know, it's clean in the back here, no problems. This it's really big. Have a cable here and an on off switch looks like let me see if I can show you the bottom so that's the port it really looks very similar to the 12 inch 150 dollar that they sell uh, but I wish the port was a little bit bigger or maybe they had dual ports at the bottom here. I'm just mostly worried about um, port noise and shuffling. So we'll have to hook this up and see how it's gonna sound. All right guys, so we hooked up the uh, 
it's up over here eventually it's gonna go in behind the tv over there as you can see over there that's the hundred dollar mono price subwoofer over there 12 inch which will be replaced by this 15 inch here um hooked up to a yamaha 377 rx vc 377 i believe uh these will be replaced soon uh just temporary for now uh both cubes uh they sound like crap you know yeah kind of tinny tin noise uh, so these will be replaced by monoprice towers and a center channel as well and yeah so right now we have the sample for setup at max volume um all the way to filter because we're controlling it via yeah, the receiver um, auto and the zero uh phase it's connected via the uh RCA here. So let's uh, play some music here. Let's see how the subwoofer actually sounds good, but when it hits the 20 hertz or somewhere around there you know 20 between 20 and 25 or lower than 30 i would say uh, the port noise the shuffling noise is very bad and the distortion is really bad but anyways let's skip here a little bit also as you see it takes a little bit of time for it to kick in actually it hasn't kicked in I don't know how high the music, okay, let's see how high. It has to kick in at some point. There it is. So it's not very sensitive, unfortunately. strong actually even from here I can feel it don't have mic to measure SPLs and whatnot but it's it's powerful is it 600 watt powerful um, I think it is but again once you hit those low notes it'll uh, shuff pretty badly let me try to show you here this track it will destroy your subwoofer anyways 20 hertz violation yeah a lot of shopping noise port noise um, maybe if you seal the port it'll uh, make no noise but anyways hope this review is helpful and see you in the next video okay, bye bye